Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm in a place called Ardenahinch in East Cork and I have just arrived there now. I managed to park up and watch my premiere. Thank you very much to everybody who joins me every week to have a chat about the video that I've just released. If you haven't joined me for a premiere, I'd love for you to come along and we can talk about the video that you're watching. And also as well, yesterday I went live on the um, pre-orders for my Claire Coast Guide. And thank you to everybody who has placed their pre-orders on that. It's going to be a phenomenal uh, location, photo photography location guidebook. And it'll be out in approximately two weeks from now. So I'm busy putting the final touches in relation to that. And I'm really excited now to release that to the world. Now, today I am here because it is extremely foggy. So my brother was actually in the area today. He messaged me and said there's a great sea fog coming in. So I said, okay, I've never been here when there's a sea fog. Maybe I'll get no shots. Maybe I'll get some great shots. I'm not quite sure. But visibility is quite poor at the moment, probably around maybe 20 meters at max, I'd say. But what I'm hoping to be able to do is to go onto the beach and to kind of take some shots with the long lens of people walking in the mist. Maybe they'll be nice shots, like I said, I'm not quite sure. But I'm here, as you can see, in the van. So I'm here now for an overnight. So I'll get an afternoon stroke sunset for this evening and I'll be here again then in the morning. That's the beauty of having the van because you can park up and you can spend the, the night and then again get another crack of it in the morning. Maybe that fog will be gone in the morning, we'll soon see, but that's what we're going to do today. So let's go, let's see how we get on. Well, as you can see now, there is absolutely very little visibility on the beach, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm here with my camera, Joan only, handheld, and I'm going to use this on the long lens and just pick out silhouettes that are going to be in the distance here. There's a lot of people actually that are walking on the beach and they're further along in the fog as well. So I think it should be some nice minimalist shots. Now, over here into the water is Ballycotton Lighthouse, and you can't obviously see it for right now. So it's a kind of a middle of nothing really. And that's great because I think it's going to be a very good experiment. I've never really taken shots like this before. I've never been to the beach when there's been a fog like this. It's actually kind of eerie and still, even though there's a small bit of movement in the water. But yeah, definitely an interesting one anyway. I'll give you a look at some of the shots I've managed to get so far and I'll play around here then and we'll wait for somebody to walk into the frame and hopefully I'll get a shot of them as well of them. Well, that was a fun afternoon, actually, I must say. I'd never done anything like that before. 
I didn't do much to camera because there wasn't much really to talk about during the actual shoot. Pretty much the same as what I would have said when I did my piece of the camera earlier, with the exception of I found a field over here, which is small bit of rapeseed within that. So I tried to take a couple of shots of that because with the fog in the distance, things kind of faded off. Let's just say there was a couple of trees as well that were nicely covered in fog in the distance. So I zoomed in on a um, couple of the, uh, the tops of the flowers and got a couple of shots as well of that. So now that I'm back in the van, I'm going to make myself a nice warm cup of tea. I'm going to have something to eat. I'm going to settle in for the evening and continue now updating my location guide for the Clare Coast. And I'm going to see you guys in the morning. So we'll check back in again when I wake up here in the same location and we'll see what the conditions are like in the morning. Good morning and uh, welcome back to Arden Hinch and a gloomy, grey, nothing morning. Now, the fog has dissipated, thankfully, so at least I can see a subject to photograph, which is Batty Cotton Lighthouse, which is in the, difference, in the distance. And as you can kind of see here, I'm taking the lazy option because there's not much for me to photograph on the beach. There's very little wave action. So I'll take the advantage here now of having the van. I've just opened up only just one of the doors because it's still kind of cold, it's around five degrees at the moment. And I've got the camera set up here with my long lens and I'm now focusing on the lighthouse. And the uh, fog has just lifted actually now from the top of the lighthouse and I can see the light of the lighthouse lighting up. Now it's an unusual lighthouse for two things. Number one, it's normally light lighthouse are painted white. This is painted black. And secondly, the light that's on this is a red light as opposed to a white light. But it's also an LED light, so it's not very strong. So what I'm doing here at the moment is I'm going for a relatively long enough exposure. I'm going for five seconds because it's still pre-dawn. There's no um, uh, bright lights to deal with. But by going for five seconds here and I'm using my two second timer, I can then just wait and watch it. And as I can see as the light will go and then I press it just as before the light will come on and then I get the red in the distance. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm glad I didn't come here specifically for this because I'd have been quite disappointed. But, you know, the advantage now having the van is that, you know, I was here, so I was ready to go. As I said, you know, I got up, took a look outside and went, you know what, no, I'll take the lazy option. So, yeah, I'm going to take these shots anyway here now. I'll give you a look at these early morning shots and um, if anything else happens, I'll check back in as that happens. And once again, another advantage now that I have at the van is, besides being a lazy photographer, I can close in the door here and I can watch the conditions, have a lovely breakfast, my nice cup of coffee here. And where else would you be able to have your breakfast while you're exactly taking shots with the camera? So yeah, another advantage of van life. Looks like that fog is coming back in again, and now it's also starting to rain. So my you know, advantage here of being a lazy photographer and being in the back of the van has a number of other benefits as well, because I can stay nice and dry and nice and warm. I've got my heater on as well here, just to keep me that little bit extra toasty. Um, and with the fog coming back in there now as well, I'm glad I took the shots actually earlier of the uh, lighthouse when the fog was a bit dissipated because it's come completely back in now and you can't even see 
the uh, the lighthouse anymore but nonetheless i still think i got a couple of nice shots anyway all be they you know flat gray but still nonetheless still good to be able to get the camera out what i also did as well is there was a tiny bit of a gap on the horizon uh, a gap in the low clouds but there was still high clouds so there was no real color but what i did do there was put on the long lens because i'm only shooting here with the um 7200 and I took a shot at that for different layering and then I also just tried to do a bit of ICM just panning from left to right kind of blur it out slightly don't know might work may not work I'll give you a look at the images anyway regardless um, but I'm happy now to be able to be here in the van because I definitely wouldn't have come out for this but still nonetheless it's still good to be able to get the camera out like I would have said I'm going to finish up this episode thank you very much for joining I hope you've enjoyed coming on the van life adventure with me if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time when hopefully i'll be in the northwest of ireland up in donegal with some very good friends of mine schlong gefallen